Wayne State and Michigan State. And Mark Best, not a better way to find out how good you are than by taking out one of the best teams in the country. Well, no doubt about it. Ranked sixth in the nation, an excellent basketball team. We were a 25-point underdog. I remember watching tape of uh, Michigan State versus North Carolina and just seeing them dismantle uh, North Carolina. And it was a, a game that happened because there was a player for Michigan State named Andre Hudson who is from Dayton. Well, even though we were 3-8 and eight, uh, going into the game, we were riding a little bit of confidence. We had Israel Shainfeld, who was a 6'10 center, and uh, probably our best player was Kevin Melson, who was an all-conference performer in the Horizon League. Raiders with the opening tap. We got off to a great start. Right off the bat on our first possession, Tyson Freeman, I think it might have been his first start of the year, he steps up and knocks down a three-pointer right on the first possession. Tyson Freeman. I remember a play early in the game when I came off of a pick and roll and I was able to hit Bruno Peterson for a slam. Nelson the crossover, the scoop to Peterson. It just felt good from that moment on. Kevin Melson was, was definitely the key to the game. Short, Melson the follow. He was one of the few guys we had that could really match the athleticism of Michigan State. As the game wore on, we got more and more confidence. Marcus May answers. That we could uh, actually pull off something. Right there. As we got to that final four minutes of the game, we were able to make some shots and get some misses and rebounds and, and take the lead and then actually hit some free throws to seal the game. And he will hold the basketball. Okay. Upset. I just put my hands up in victory and the, the fans started to rush the floor. They say Christmas comes once. I think it just arrived one more time. The press conference after the game, Tom Izzo was very classy and, and how he handled it and said, hey, Michigan, we didn't, we didn't play poorly. Wright State just played very, very well. And if you look back and you want to know how did a 3-8 and eight Wright State team beat a uh, eventual national champion. Go to Chappelle. It's like great defense and a steal. If you can defend and rebound and then make free throws when it counts, you're able to, uh, to win big games. To be able to have people still come up to me today, 18 years later, to talk to me about one of my best memories at Wright State, it's a special thing.